Rotec have over 10 Star machines and they've just invested in two new ones. So I wanted to find out from Star why customers keep coming back for more. Lindsay, Star's ethos is engineering and I'm an engineer and this is why we provide really good solutions for customers like Paul because he's an engineer and we are on that same wavelength of what he wants and what he wants to achieve. So it's not all about the sales, it's about offering an engineering solution to the customer and being on that same wavelength for and them. You've, you've had a, a record month, which is amazing during a pandemic. So well done to you and Thank loads you. of new customers as well on board with Star. Why do you think that is? I think it's a, a combination of many things, but it's going back to the engineering ethos of Star, and we always want to build on that engineering ethos and find out what the customer wants and what the customer needs as well, and we'll build on it. For like Paul, we helped him with a component uh, on this machine, which is uh, was his latest purchase, to get it up and running before it landed here, because that's what he needed. And also, we went above and beyond, because he didn't have the space, we moved uh, I think it was seven machines to wow. get these two machines in yes. as well in four days. So it, it was a quick turnaround. Now, um, this machine is a bit of an upgrade from its predecessor. Let's find out in more detail why and why he's gone for this particular model. It's gone for this model there, the SR32J2 Type B. It is one of our best sellers. We, we built it from the ground up. So with this machine on its predecessor, uh, the casting has been developed, it's a heavier casting, it's just over four tonne, which gives it some rigidity. And then we build up into the, the machine itself, so we've got more power in that machine as well. So it's 11 kilowatts on the main spindle, 5.5 on the sub. But to, again, building on that, you can take more material removal, but you need the tooling. So on this machine, it takes ER20 tools, bigger tools than its predecessor, which is ER16. So you can really hit that material hard and take up the material away. And also you need the clamping force. So this has got 45% more clamping force than its predecessor. So the, the bar's not going to move. You, you're really holding it tight so you can hit it hard. Is that going to open up new materials, harder materials as well? Oh, definitely. It just opens all the exotic materials that you want to actually machine. I don't think there's anything that we, we couldn't look at doing on this machine. And are you encouraging the same volumes of work is it all high volume on your machines no we're, even customers are looking now at the kind of smaller production runs because it's quick and easy to set up and you could run them overnight you could do a production run of say 50 so that's done in the evening then you look at a longer run in the day or vice versa because it's so quick and easy and you can use uh, NC assist to help them program offline to put them onto the machine so the next job's ready to go. Ready to go. And what about that Y-axis? What's so special with this? Uh, with the Y-axis, it's two things. You can use it as sister tooling on the back, so you don't, again, easier setup. So you can just use it on the back as another layer of tooling, or use it in your machine process of a milling or what you want to do on the subspindle as well. So what is it that Paul's doing on this machine that is so unique then, that maybe others can't do? We looked at the, the product he was having, it was gear cutting on a small component, so we put a gear hobbing unit on this to produce the component complete. So it's not conventionally when you look at it uh, on a, a, what you normally look on a sliding head lathe, but the volumes he's got for the gear hobbing which he needs in the component, it, it's ideal. And we proved the part off at our facility first, so and again, solution for him, it hit the ground running when it, when it landed here for him.